social media last night, but they really put this giant storm into perspective. Let's show you. The National Weather Service station in Gaylord posted this picture last night. It shows how big Irma is compared to Michigan. You can see the outer bands of rain stretch from Buffalo well into central Wisconsin and stretching north of Lake Superior down into Indiana and Ohio. Well, even the eye of the hurricane is huge. If the eye of the hurricane settled in northern Michigan, the area would easily cover all of Mackinac Island, the Mackinac Bridge, and St. Ignace. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Matt Kirkwood has been tracking Irma for days now. So, Matt, where is it headed next? It gives you a perspective, doesn't oh, it? It's huge. Hurricane force winds would encompass all of lower Michigan, mm -hmm. with the exception of maybe the western UP. Just a massive, massive storm. And right now, the forecast models are hinting that it might be diverting a little bit farther east in the okay. previous track. So that might be a little bit of good news, at least for folks in Florida. Right now, you're looking at a GO 16 visible satellite imagery of this absolute monster of a storm. 185 mile an hour sustained winds still. Sometimes uh, they'll the, the pulse back and forth, but this beast, Irma, has been continuing its strength right on through the stretch. West northwest wind or uh, movement at 16 miles an hour. It's heading towards the British Virgin Islands, and you can see Puerto Rico. It likely will stay just north of Puerto Rico. Now, Thursday at 8 o'clock in the morning, just north of the Dominican Republic, notice how it stays over the very warm waters. Now, if it impacted or actually made uh, a direct landfall on Dominican Republic or Cuba, it'll likely weaken, but that is not going to be the case as it continues its track uh, through the Caribbean. Now, Saturday at 8 o'clock in the morning should be in between um, Cuba and also the southern Bahama Islands after going through the Turks and Caicos. Now, this is the question. When will it start making its turn to the north on the backside of a Bermuda High? Right now, the forecast models are hinting further east than originally thought. So that right there, Sunday at 8 o'clock in the morning, that is Miami, folks. And then it, where does it go from there? It looks like it's going to head north right into uh, maybe possibly uh, South Carolina. Um, hurricane Irma, this is what it did for us, to us. We are at Pelican at the moment. Look at up here. Look at the room up there, they are gone. All the roofs are gone. My husband's Jeep is total loss. Total loss. Ooh, look at the storm. Let's see if it's getting harder and harder. As islands in the Caribbean take a direct hit, Floridians are bracing for Hurricane Irma. I think because it's such a big hurricane, and after everything that happened in Houston, I think everyone is really paying more attention probably than they have in the past. Shelves are empty, shopping lines wrapped through stores, and there is a big gas shortage. But even residents who have been through this before aren't taking any chances. I've been through George, been through Andrew, been through Wilma, but I'm not staying for Irma. No, not happening. <laughs> Sorry. It's the strongest hurricane since Wilma in 2005. Florida Governor Rick Scott is urging residents to take caution. If there is an evacuation order in your area, please follow it. I cannot stress it enough. If there's an evacuation order, follow it. Remember, we can rebuild your home, but we cannot rebuild your life. For the latest on Hurricane Irma, head over to AccuWeather.com. For AccuWeather, I'm Talia Reister. Hi everyone, you've clicked onto the tropical video for Wednesday, September 6th. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Dan Kotlowski. Of course, we've got uh, powerful uh, Hurricane Irma, Cat 5, with winds of 185 miles an hour now moving into the Virgin Islands as of late morning here on uh, Wednesday. Uh, we also have uh, strengthening tropical storm Jose. It's got winds now up to 70 miles an hour. More likely it'll be a hurricane later on this afternoon. Uh, Tropical Storm Katia is also strengthening. It's got winds of 45 miles an hour. Latest computer models show, uh, I wouldn't say ideal conditions. It's certainly very warm water, very deep moisture across the system. Also, that could become a hurricane sometime either tomorrow or perhaps by the time it makes landfall, sometime late Friday, Friday night, or early Saturday then. So taking a look at the, and of course, the eastern and central Pacific look quiet at this point then. So the main concerns we have right now is Katya here over the uh, 
uh, Bay of Campeche, Irma, which is a powerful hurricane right now, Category 5, and Jose back through here. And, of course, we don't have any really important other features, a little weak tropical wave now in the Cabo Verde Islands. Taking a look at the latest infrared satellite image of Jose, which is right here, and of uh, uh, Irma here. You can see Irma has a well-defined eye approaching the uh, uh, Virgin Islands as of uh, late morning here, but will be over them uh, through this afternoon then. So, but again, nothing else back through here of any, any big uh, uh, worry. Here's a uh, uh, radar image out of the uh, San Juan radar showing the well-defined eye. You can see it's uh, about to move almost right toward uh, Tortola and the, uh, uh, Vir and the uh, British Virgin Islands. And uh, the eye wall is going to come right over the Virgin Islands themselves, both the British and Virgin Islands. So no doubt they will experience hurricane force winds, very heavy rainfall, and then the eye wall will continue to work westward. Looks like the southern part of the eye wall will probably get into the northeast portion of Puerto Rico as well. So that means that uh, most of northern and eastern Puerto Rico, actually most of Puerto Rico are going to see the impacts from this, either tropical storm force winds or tropical storm force winds with hurricane wind gusts. The most likely areas for hurricane wind gusts across Puerto Rico would be over the north central and northeastern portions of the, of the island, but again, a higher terrain to the, uh, to the central part of the island can certainly have very, very high winds as well. So again, uh, people should take heed to uh, warnings and, and uh, uh, take heed to the local officials on how to deal with uh, extremely dangerous uh, Hurricane uh, Irma. Here's, an infra here's a visible satellite image as of late morning here on Wednesday showing, uh, showing how these things are wrapping up. There's almost an eye on uh, Jose right now, and uh, like I said, this is definitely going to become a hurricane here pretty shortly then. And then again, like I said, uh, expect uh, Irma to continue to work uh, west, northwestward, passing just north of Hispaniola, very, very close to the Turks and Caicos, and then into the southern Bahamas as we head through the rest of this week then. So uh, the center of, um, of Irma should be located just to the north of Puerto Rico by uh, tonight, and then will be just to the north of Hispaniola by this time tomorrow, and then uh, taking a, a course uh, west-northwestward from there then. In fact, uh, taking a look at the, um, call up the um, track forecast here, Kind of see that we have uh, the track forecast for Irma uh, comes, as, like I said, through the Turks and Caicos. And then the model output is, is, is showing a, an abrupt turn to the north right now um, as we get into Sunday. Uh, it's hard to say exactly when that turn will be. Sometimes when hurricanes of this intensity are moving along, they tend not to turn real abruptly. Uh, so this turn could be slower than this, or perhaps maybe uh, the influences from the upper level pattern in the uh, steering flow might allow this thing to turn a little bit more uh, north of west than earlier. But again, uh, there's a critical time here roughly the, over the weekend where this thing is going to try to turn northward. And again, uh, if that does, it could actually pass just east of Florida. But again, the models are waffling back and forth. And you'll notice these models just to the west here are uh, showing still uh, potential for landfall. And those are uh, some of the most reliable computer models that we have. Here's the most recent run. This is as of uh, 8 o'clock this morning, and it also shows, again, uh, a track that which would be just to the east of Miami. The track, and don't get it's hungry. very possible the track can be a little bit further west, and so uh, it still it looks like impacts will be over most of Florida and over a good part of Cuba here and throughout the Bahamas through here. So everyone should prepare for uh, hurricane force winds, no doubt tropical storm force winds preceding that. And again, uh, all this area through here should certainly be on the lookout. And obviously, uh, if this thing does move along the coast, uh, it's going to be making another landfall uh, somewhere right along the Carolina coast uh, between Georgia coast and the South Carolina coast. This would be sometime probably Monday night. Once inland, it caused very heavy rainfall across portions of Georgia, the Carolinas, into the Appalachians, even in, into maybe parts of Tennessee, West Virginia and Virginia, maybe even eastern Kentucky. So those areas through there could see, certainly see some very heavy rainfall starting sometime by Tuesday, lasting through Wednesday of next week. Some of this moisture will also get drawn up 
into the northeastern part of the U.S. as well. So main impacts, destructive winds, flooding rainfall, uh, very, very deep water uh, inundation, uh, power outages, of course, coastal flooding. So a lot of impacts from this system there. Taking a look at Jose's path, again, Jose is expected to pass just to the northeast of the Leeward Islands. The problem is the trend in the, the model output has been a little bit to the left over the last uh, 24 hours. So it's conceivable that uh, Jose could come very close to the, to the Leeward Islands. We're talking about sometime over the weekend here uh, as a Category 2, maybe Category 3 hurricane again. So once again, the Leewards might be um, impacted by another hurricane uh, maybe as early as this coming weekend. Here's the forecast tracked in for Katia, which is again in the uh, southern Bay of Campeche, <coughs> excuse me, in the southwest Bay of Campeche, uh, well to the south of Brownsville, uh, due east of Tampico, making landfall somewhere probably close to Veracruz area and uh, mainland uh, south uh, southeastern Mexico. Then this would be sometime probably uh, either Friday night or first thing uh, Saturday morning then. Trust this enough, do not ignore evacuation orders. Remember, we can rebuild your home, but we cannot rebuild your life. Yeah, pretty serious stuff there from Governor Rick Scott in Florida. They're getting ready. And uh, some of the uh, outer bands of Hurricane Irma have already been hitting Puerto Rico. You can see how strong the wind is in those guys. But look how strong the wind is closer to the eye wall. This was a little bit earlier in the morning. And Gila, one of the spots that uh, got absolutely thrashed by this storm. So uh, there was a lot of damage in parts of the northern Leeward Islands. And look at this storm. It's still incredibly powerful, 185-mile-an-hour wind. Uh, close to the center and some of this satellite imagery is just unbelievable. Let me zoom in on the eye here so you can see this. Look at the little mesovortices on the inside of that eye. And by the way, these islands you see here that are in the direct path of the storm, those are the Virgin Islands. So you guys are the next in line for the direct hit. And trust me, it is no picnic in that eye wall. Uh, some of the video I've been seeing uh, on social media from the Leeward Islands, just unbelievable stuff. Now, uh, Puerto Rico does not appear like it's going to take a direct hit. The eye is going to go just north. It's still going to be a pretty impactful storm, not only for Puerto Rico, but also Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We get up to the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. That's where we're going to be more worried about direct hit. And it's a huge difference between a direct hit and uh, just being kind of in the outer part of the storm. Now, let's talk about the southeastern United States, a spot where a lot of people are wondering what's going to happen. The big trend in the forecast cone has been a little bit farther toward the east. It appears less likely that the storm is going to miss Florida toward the west and move into the Gulf. A little bit more likely that it may skirt the coast of Florida or try to stay a little bit farther out to sea. But... Even if it does that, it's going to be highly impactful for the state of Florida. Okay, so we got a lot of serious impacts that we're expecting from this storm. Be prepared if you live in any Our of these areas. Hurricane Irma has had some devastating impacts, especially in parts of the Leeward Islands. That's where it's been moving through overnight, uh, through the morning as well. Uh, places like Anguilla, uh, Barbuda, St. Martin have seen some tremendous damage. Look at this video out of Dominica. That's actually really far to the south of where the center of the storm is. And even that far away, the waves... Uh, big enough to surprise people there. Yeah, very, very dangerous stuff. Puerto Rico is going to take a pretty solid hit from the storm. Luckily, not a direct hit. But um, so far, we have no reports of deaths. Okay, this is the good news. But a lot of reports of damage coming out of some of these Caribbean islands. As I mentioned, the uh, northern uh, Leeward Islands especially. Here's a great exam example of that. St. Bart's. A lot of things underwater and a ton of wind damage as well. Um, officials in St. Bart's, uh, they say that basically there was a ton of flooding there. That stranded a lot of rescue vehicles. And uh, the government headquarters in St. Martin also were getting reports that that was part of the Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. What is on the airship now? Watch out. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look somebody swimming. 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 Somebody airship. Look at it.
Please. Here's what has happened over the 